Let's grab all the files that we need for our project. To do so, we'll go to the URL github.com slash readbarger slash react dash slack dash clone. This will contain all of the starting files that we'll need for our React app as well as all the necessary dependencies for our project. To grab these, we'll click on the cloner download button. You can download all the files here as a zip file, but instead of that we'll be cloning them onto our computer. Click on the clipboard icon, and then we'll go to our terminal. I'll go to my code editor since it has an integrated terminal. And if you're using VS Code, you can hit Control and then the tilde button in order to open that. You can also go to View up at the top and then click on Terminal. And from here we want to select the folder where we want our project to live in. So we'll CD into that folder. We'll CD into my desktop. And then we'll run git clone, paste in the URL that we copied by clicking on the clipboard icon, and then hit enter. If we take a look at that directory, we should see the folder, the new folder that was added of React Slack clone. I'll just drag that into my code editor to load all the files within it. And once you've done that, we will then install all of the dependencies listed within the package.json file by running npm install or you can just use the shortcut npm i. And upon running this we'll have a node modules folder that contains all of our dependencies and we'll be able to start up and begin building our React application.